Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another new video on my channel Training Teacher and today we are driving here while a heavy snowstorm is uh, going through Bavaria. Um, this ICE service from Augsburg main station to Munich main station with uh, at the top speed of 200, I mean 30, uh, 213, 230 kilometers per hour top speed and yeah, at the beginning I would say we go into our cab and uh, we have to open the door here um, and take a seat into the cab to uh, into the driver's cab to open the doors for the whole train. And I'm very happy that you're here uh, once again with me. And I hope you are doing good, your family is doing good, and all that you love are doing well and um, yeah are healthy. So um, we open the doors, I think now. So we activate the. Um, wipers but i don't know if they will bring actually something here and then we're going to activate the sifa and the pzb and lzb safety system then we are going to um close the uh view here we are going to make it uh yeah how do you say it in english i think we block the view into our, our cab i just like it if we are a little bit incognito here and yeah we have to wait until 21 it's in one minute and i'm very happy that our train is still working here because as you can see it's very snowy and i don't know if we're going to make this right without a derailment you know that um derailments are often here on my channel and uh yeah i would say that we are kind of excited I hope I just said it correctly. And I just wanted to say thank you for six subscribers and that you always uh, leaving some thumbs up and I hope you enjoy the next upcoming episodes of simulators here on my channel with the train simulator and I have, I mean, a German firefighter simulator for you within the next days. And yeah, we're gonna see. If you enjoy, leave a subscribe always and I would be very happy. And now I would say we are going to close the doors and hope that we are coming good through this snowstorm. In Germany, if um, the ICE starts to close the doors, it's not like this, that the train driver actually closes the door here. He gets a uh, telephone call through the internal telephone system from the train chief who uh, controls the tickets of the passengers and says, now you can uh, close the doors or you, you can lock them. They actually the close uh, the locking or the closing of the doors is um, is done by the train chief itself. He actually puts. Uh, it says the brakes are still okay. No, it's not working. Um, he actually has a phone and um, puts a code into it, and then the doors are getting closed by him. You, in, as the train driver, just lock the doors that they can't be reopened again by a passenger. That's what we are doing here. And then through the telephone he says, yeah, we, c we are able to uh, lock the doors and um, departure. Yeah, that's it. Just for you as a little information. And this ride is going to be, I think, 30 minutes long. And um, we have to confirm the Zifa with Q. And uh, I hope that you can stay with us here. I activate the... Um, cab light a little oh as you can see we don't see anything through the window holy macaroni that's gonna be very <laughs> I don't know how I should feel about this because um, it's going to be heavy we have um, a break way of at least if we're driving 200 kilometers per hour of at least three to four kilometers and if then snow and um, frozen tracks are coming uh, yeah to us too and sum up all the uh, bad conditions to for driving I think our breakaway will be longer than just three or five kilometers and yeah now we got into the LZB surveillance um, the 999 shows the um, driveway of um, or shows all signals from our driving way within the next 900 
9,999 meters and in size in 909, no, not, <laughs> what the fuck, I meant uh, into 9,999 meters um, there is a red signal or as you can see the, um, oh, our, okay, um, our um, coach, no, not our coaches, uh, let me check the words, uh, our, um, not the word, I'm not searching the word wheel, I'm searching the word um, wheel for train. Okay, let's call it just our wheels. Our wheels, um, if I put the um, complete power into it, our wheels at 100 kilometers per hour, our wheels um, went spinning too hard and they weren't able to put the whole um, power of the train uh, or the motors weren't able to put the um, whole power of the motors on the wheels because on the wheels of the train because it's too frozen and it starts to um, to spin over and I saw this uh, here in the bottom right hand corner there were some waves uh, left and right to the um, kilometer um, information uh, to the speed information I mean and yeah I was just telling um, the SB is showing us still 9999 meters and there is a zero that means uh, which indicates there is a red signal but the um, meters weren't going down or nor are not going to be less so they're not started to going be less so they're not like counting down 9980 70 and like this it's still 9999 so um, our way is still green within the next 10 kilometers because you can just put a one to it and then you know it's uh, 10,000 meters and we're just oh there's a uh, brother train um, we can just say that it's uh, in at least 10,000 meters um, and yeah I just said I'm not going to say or approximately I'm not going to be um, saying it's all time 9999 just saying 10,000 it's easier to say and within the next uh, 10 or just 10 kilometers uh, within the next 10 kilometers there isn't the red signal the red signal is just coming after it yeah just for you as an explanation and now we are going to uh, speed up to I think 230 or 50 and from this moment already our braking way is going to be so oh now you can see it starts to counting down so we're gonna see I think um, our brakes won't be working so good so our uh, maximum speed is 230 kilometers per hour oh and now you see it got again to uh, 9999 or to 10 kilometers it got set up again so that means that the red signal that was just shown here or which has been uh, or which would have been there within the next um oh we went too fast uh within the next um oh it's again counting down within the uh, shown distance while counting down this turned green and because of this it went up again to 10 kilometers and now it's going to be counting down again so um we are going to be very or we're going to be faster and because of this um the countdown starts to um, count again until the red signal the distance because um, we are going to uh, how do you say it in English um, we are going to to catch up like this yeah so I would say that we start to break from now on because um, it as I already told you I'm just Oh, okay, it's set up again to 9 uh, kilometers, which is good, so we are still catching up, or we are not catching up that fast, the red signal, so we can power a little bit more up from now on, but it's counting down again, and um, as you, uh, for just for you as an information, we can activate, um, we can also activate the AFB, safety system, and uh, if we activate this one, um, I don't know why it isn't activated. Let me activate it. Um, 
Okay. Now I activated the AFB. And the AFB should start breaking automatically. Um, if there is an... Uh, oops. Oh, fuck. If there is a um, red signal coming, as you can see, it's breaking from... Or it starts to breaking um, on itself. Or by itself. The AFB is like an... Um, computer who controls the speed in um, in, a, in connection with the LZB it uh, sets the speed automatically or it breaks or ac accelerates automatically if there are speed changes while LZB surveillance and if we're not into uh, LZB surveillance the um, AFB can be also activated and just um, the maximum speed can be set by the train driver automatically and then the train will accelerate it uh, up to this uh, set speed and hold the speed yeah. Well, it's getting more and more gray here. Yeah, I'm telling you for real, guys. Uh, I'm just very worried about our, our what is going to happen here because uh, we just see at least, I mean, 300 meters in front of us. We can't see more. Our uh, horizon is be is just very, yeah, small, or very small. And um, oh, you just saw it from now on very nice. Um, there wasn't a distance showing anymore, so um, it just shown or just the bar was just full and to the highest point. And the highest point are four kilometers. And as you can see, while the um, or if the four thousand one meters or it's going to be less than 4,001 uh, meters the distance, you will see that ju just the yellow bar will uh, be lower and or is getting less. Uh, you can see it, I think, in some seconds. So, and three, two, one, and yeah. Now you see the yellow bar to the right is going to be less and less. And uh, we can see we are just uh, three, and a half kilometers away from the red signal and our LZB system uh, or with in according to the or not in kind of in according in connection with the AP system is breaking very nice our train smooth and slow down um, yeah and now you can see it got up again the distance is um, going to be more or just set up to more uh, meters which means that the train which is driving in front of us we're not going to catch it up that fast so I think it's a game like um, just more, it's like this time we're accelerate and then we're going to break again and then we're going to accelerate again and it's a game like this which we are driving here, which we are into here. Yeah, and to the right of us you can see the regional uh, tracks of, uh, the con of the line between uh, München and Augsburg or Munich and Augsburg and here's the uh, re yeah, regional trains are driving uh, on it and um, some city trains too, some S-Bahn services and sometimes they are driving some um, freight trains too it's not only that they are driving regional trains or something like this and yeah you saw up in the top right hand corner there was the red circle showing so we got very near to the uh, red signal or to the um, train who blocks uh, we are going to catch up so we, let's say like this the train which is driving in front of us and which causes the whole uh, red signals here every time and yeah uh, just a few seconds ago we got very near to this train and now um, we are going to build a distance again but not for long. As you can see, the distance to the next red signal is already so less that uh, okay, that uh, even the distance weren't shown uh, anymore, and now the distance meters ca are coming down again, so that's, that the distance got set up a little bit more or got uh, a little bit higher. I just wanted to check if our this, these are the PZB buttons, but they're not working at the moment because um, we're into LZB mode. I'm for sure there's the ZIFA, which you can or which you have to confirm here, 
which you can see where the fruits would be the uh, gray um, like the gray uh, how do you say it um, like the gray uh, rectangle um, cuboid which is laying there that's a paddle or the gray paddle there where it's the cursor at the moment and with the foot you have to confirm the sifa every 30 minutes there yeah oh there's a uh, city train a redesigned one because the train destination system was colored with uh, several colors oh for years and information we are going to uh, drive with this train in some of the next drives too so stay tuned very nice okay and now you can see oh there just take a look at the uh, bottom right hand corner uh, you may saw that there was the uh, that there were the waves once again which are um, left and to right to the speed uh, information so we uh, the, sp the um, wheels were spinning again were spinning over again I mean and yeah you can see we're just uh, at least four and a half to five kilometers away from the train which is blocking our uh, green wave driving here or driving with the green signal wave um, because the next signal is just uh, the next red signal is just three kilometers away and you can count that the train who is into the um, block oh you can see it oh wow nice uh, just yeah, we got informed about that the stop is going to come because it was yellow, the signal. And then it turned green while we passed, so very nice today. And that's our train here. No, Zifa, we don't want to get a Zifa emergency brake. I don't know why, but I like this kind of um, perspective of the of our two ICEs. We may are going to make a uh, picture later. And as you can see, we have two um, um, two tractions today. And there is our train information system, ICE 1285 from Wiesbaden to Berlin Main Station. Yeah, I just wanted to say that um, if the LZB shows that in uh, two and a half kilometers from uh, or at the moment there will be a red signal, um, then you can count at least 500 to 1000 meters on the shown information from the LZB and there is the train into these 500 and 1000 meters added to the actual showing distance to the red signal <sighs> oh, there is it driving at the moment so as you can see we're not so far away from the other train and yeah you can see the pre-signal is yellow so the next signal the main signal will be red and it's still two kilometers away but usually the pre-signal um, shows or indicates a red signal one kilometer away and not two kilometers I don't know why this is here like this but okay then it is like this Okay, still 11 kilometers away from Munich passing when we are going to uh, let the passengers out 
I don't think that there are passengers boarding into this station because it's uh, so near to Munich main station and passing is uh, like on the edge of Munich I'm just a little bit um, watching berries very exact what is happening at the moment because we're driving here with 110 km around 110 kilometers per hour okay there you can see the as it be um, it's blinking it means ender in German it means uh, or Translated it means end and you have to confirm the end of the LZB with the PZB uh, free button that you uh, are aware of the ending of the LZB in a few uh, meters and then we are going to drive again with the PZB system and uh, then we have to set back the AFB to the maximum of 165 kilometers per hour because during PZB safety surveillance you're just allowed to drive with 165 at the main speeds and I'm going to confirm it here the pre-signal okay and then we are going to break a little because I don't know if the red signal is coming there already but as you can see now um, the speed is uh, the, the wheels are spinning over you can see the speed left and right to the speed there were the red waves and now we got into the surveillance here um, and we have to break down very fast because if we're not doing it we're getting an emergency break we have to get from confirming the yellow pre-signal into 23 seconds below 85 kilometers per hour into the upper PZB mode there are two more modes but uh, all passenger trains are driving into the upper mode And yeah, as you can see, the red signal is coming there, the next red signal, and then you have to uh, drive lower than 65 kilometers per hour because um, there you can see just 10 meters that the red, the magnet is, okay, we passed now the red magnet, the PCB magnet, and you have to be lower than 65 kilometers per hour, uh, 65 kilometers per hour um, before you pass the active 500 um, hertz PZB magnet because if you're not doing it you're getting an emergency break if the main signal is still showing red so and yeah you can see we passed the main signal it turned to green and now we got out of the surveillance and we are able to accelerate again to the V max of the of this of the route of the track I mean okay why well, isn't accelerating now our dude is kind of okay is it accelerating now why is our train not accelerating anymore that kind of worries me to be honest oh I don't know why we stand up now oh, okay now yeah, you have to, uh, if you got out of the SAP surveillance, you have to turn uh, off the AFB for once and then again that it will be able to, or that you will be able to drive again or to accelerate again normally. Because, as I already, okay, as I already told you, no, usually we had to, um, or normally, I usually we had to confirm the um, yellow signal but it kind of just ignored our confirmation so while we're not getting emergency break everything's fine okay and I see the signal turn green so we're able to accelerate up to uh, 140 at the top speed okay yeah and I was explaining um, if you are getting into the SLB surveillance, you have to turn off the AFB and turn it on again, that the AFB will be able to drive more than 165 km per hour and uh, if you got off 
or you got out of the SB surveillance, you have to turn off the SB again. Uh, you have to turn off the AFB once again, that it uh, only uses the VMAX of 165 kilometers per hour. The, um, the VMAX means the uh, top speed of, or that only it can only accelerate to 165, which is just allowed if you're into the SB surveillance. Just a little reminder for you. And yeah, you saw the yellow um, panel there the, with the 12 on it. That means that um, 120 has to be driven from there in one kilometer from the where the um, yellow panel stands. One kilometer later, you have to uh, just, or you're just allowed to drive with 120 kilometers per hour. And we're going to do this now. And there is a yellow pre-signal, so we have to break more. And now we got into the surveillance once again. And I'm just glad that our wheels are not spinning over at the moment. Yep, there is a red signal coming towards us. And don't forget, before the 500 Hz magnet, you have to drive just lo lower or less than 65 kilometers per hour. So now we are, yeah, now we are less than 65 and we're a double traction. So our train is uh, very long. We have uh, a doubled set of IC3 that are, oh, we got emergency brake. I don't know why, to be honest. <laughs> it's very nice, our wheels are still spinning over. Oh man. So we have to confirm it. I don't know why we got uh, emergency braked. Maybe it's too cold outside that the uh, system isn't working so good anymore. And yeah, I'm going to drive. Um, oh, the doors are already opened. Okay. I don't know why they're opened automatically, but I don't open them. Oh, there is a city train. So let's make a nice picture here. I hope the last wag, uh, the last coaches are into the got into the station. Oh no, <laughs> the last one is outside, so <laughs> the passengers can get off here and walk up here. So it's not that, it's not that uh, bad or not that sad. Uh, not that bad. Uh, Munich main station. Let's make a nice picture here. Okay, I think now we are able to drive further. Yeah, the train chief called us, said uh, close or lock the doors and departure. Very nice, so we are going to departure and leave Augsburg main station. And just for us as a reminder, um, our maximum speed is during the 500 Hz uh, surveillance 25 km per hour. And yeah, now we got uh, off the surveillance and we are able to drive more than 25. But if we would stay into the surveillance of 500 Hz and uh, we would drive more than 25, uh, we got breakdown or with an emergency braking. So I'm putting the throttle a little bit lower that our wheels are not spinning off so hard. And our next stop is Munich main station, where we are going to stop in maximum 10 minutes, but I think we are reaching it uh, earlier. Just let me set the AFB to 100 to 130. That's our main speed at the moment. Or oh, there's an, another speed information, but not for us. There was um, an arrow showing to the right uh, tracks. So here for the S-Bahn, uh, for the city train tracks. And you saw there was a cable into the middle of the tracks. So the S-Bahn or the city train here, they have an own SB a safety system, but it's the same like we use but they have an extra system for their tracks i mean 
it's just and um, with different speeds or they're using the same as a B system but they're they use it too I mean it like this it's not technically different yeah I'm very glad that we didn't derail at the moment or until now there is a green signal very nice Yeah, and there to the right you can see the, um, oh no, not now, just in a few seconds, I'm thinking 30 seconds we were able to see the ICE home base, there, there it is, there are um, a lot of ICE trains from Germany are based, or they're going to, if they don't have an, um, an active, was, was platzt du denn hier einfach rein, kannst du nicht klopfen oder so? Ja, bla bla bla. Komm, Jürgen, lass mich in Ruhe. Red mal mit mir über Ostern nicht. Hier. Und verschwinde jetzt. Blöder Wichser, Alter. Ja, there is the IC Homebase. If they don't have an um, service which they have to bring at the moment, then they are going to be checked there and. Um, to be checked good and uh, getting washed there too. Oh no, the, the washing uh, base is just, I think, oh wait, I have to break a little bit harder. We're not breaking good. Yeah, and then we got um, the emergency brake now. So there is the, um, the washing um, base you can drive through and then they're getting cleaned. Yeah, let me just uh, cut off this. Okay, my friends, and now we are rolling again. I don't. I'm not really sure if this was uh, the, if the the um, the time after we confirmed the pre-signal or the yellow signal. Um, if this were full 23 seconds, uh, I think it were less than 23 seconds. But never mind. We are just driving now into Munich main station. Very relaxed. And I see we are driving a little bit too fast into Munich main station. So, um, yeah, we have to break down a little uh, here. And in a few seconds we reach... Oh, there's an IC3 just uh, parked into an, or on another track. Yeah, and now we are driving with 40, and in the in a few seconds we are driving with uh, 30, or we have to drive 30 into Munich main station, and then we are able to open the doors. And yeah, as you can see, we arrived very safe with no with no derailment or something or any injured person. I'm very happy about this. And we can do it a little bit nice, our braking. We can um, go and stop here, or like this. We can watch our train how it drives into the uh, into Munich main station. But one thing that just makes me a little bit sad is that <laughs> inside the um, inside the. Um, Inside Munich main station there is a thunderstorm too. I mean they have roofs and uh, stuff like this. Where the wind should not be able to come in. Yeah, and now we arrived. Let's open the drawers on the left side. And our job is done. So we put the reverser into parking. Turn off this lights, turn off this lights. And uh, turn off the main suit and put down the... Hello, main suit, turn off please, thanks. And we can, oh no, we just have to let the, um, we have to let the pantographs up, but we turn off the main suit so the colleague can take over the train. And yeah, my friends, we did it. So I would say thank you for riding with us today. Uh, we see each other soon in one of the next videos and um, stay safe.
stay healthy, take care, and goodbye, my friends.